Good morning and welcome back to Lebanon for the final time. I've completed many side quests in my time in Lebanon, but today we're going to wrap up the main story. We're heading to the Cedars of God, a legendary Lebanese forest deep in the northern mountains. It's a two hour journey to get there. Let's see what happens. It's going to be quite an adventure. Not very friendly, are they? First step, get our bus. Yo, are you heading uh, to Tripoli? Tripoli? I need to get out of Becca. Chukran. Oh. Thank you. So that is by far, by far the best way to get around Lebanon. Especially if you're on the high road, it's like one dollar wherever you want to go, as far as... as Hello. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, I'm good for now, thank you. Um, as far as you want to go for one dollar, that was actually 80 cents, which is... 80,000 Lebanese pounds could go all the way north, all the way south, one dollar on the highway. So when you get off the highway, you have a bit of a problem. first ride of the day which takes me to Huspa which is a very good start. Um, I was hitchhiking and these guys pulled over. They're definitely not a taxi but it was two dollars so I'm gonna give him two dollars. Boss, there you go. Chukran. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your name? My name is Joseph. Joseph. George. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Eddie. Nice to meet you. London. London, yes, I'm from London. 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 Two dollars on the bus, all the way to Bashar. Oh my god. From here? Oh wow. Thank you so much. Two dollars. Oh, let's go. One hundred. I know, he is crazy. Well, at first I thought when he said... crazy. When he said... Uh, this bus. This bus. A blue bus. Okay, it comes around here. Yes, Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. All the best. See, this is why you don't pay for expensive cabs i'm at a total of two dollars eighty right now and this blue bus coming up here i don't know if you can see it according to this man will take me all the way to bashari so for another two dollars then we'll get there for under five dollars let's see if his uh his words are true Salam, I need to go to a uh, Bashari. 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 How much will it uh, cost? Uh, 1,050. Shukran. Thank you. <laughs> Even cheaper than what he said. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. Shukran. I will walk. Shukran. Masalama. Trying to take me all the way there for extortionate fees. This is Bashiri. Hello. 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 You make like uh, sandwiches? No, not open. Not open? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. No worries. Thank you. Masalama. Well, it meant to be in there. It's a lot, um, a lot cooler up here in the mountains. And as we were driving here, a lot of the surrounding mountains had snow still on top, which is pretty crazy considering I swam in the sea this morning. 
this is the road up here that leads to the cedar forest I'm just gonna hitchhike I don't think there's anything else for it to be honest there's no no other buses I'm in the middle of nowhere let's get my best shot literally the first car thank you brother hello hello how are you fine I'm trying to get to the uh the cedar forest you're heading this way? This way. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is your name? Danny. Daddy? Danny, Danny. Danny? Yeah. Oh, cool. Eddie? Eddie. Nice to meet you, brother. This is it, the cedar forest. Yeah. I've made it. Wow, it looks amazing. Ruzu. There's the entrance. Entrance for, here? Yeah, for the fort. Danny, my brother, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you, it means You're a lot. Welcome. Shukran, my friend. You're welcome. Masalama. Thank you, brother. All right, so this is the, the cedar forest. Uh, he wasn't even going in this direction, so I asked him, where are you heading? And he was like, um not here but i'll take you anyway i was like you sure he was like yeah yeah i was like do you want do you want money i'll give you some money if you're not even going that way he was like no no i don't want money i have one kid called eddie one kid called Sharbel after saint Sharbel. yeah what a legend anyway we're here now before we go in i've got to get some food of some sort Shukran. thank you so much all right here we go we've got my lunch now uh, salad Halloumi, which I didn't order, they gave me for free, not complaining about that. I've been making little bread halloumi sandwiches with it. Um, bread also free. This I did order, which is... Lamb, I think. Maybe beef, not even sure. But this looks damn good and cost about $7, including a Pepsi, which is unlimited refills. This is it's like Nando's or something. So just goes to show, save some money on the journey here, spend it on lunch. Let's tuck in. This is almost like a meat puff pastry. It's real, real, real damn good. Shukran. I feel like a, like a new man after that food. I um, highly recommend that restaurant if you're in the area. And now it's time what we've come all this way for. I'm excited. Hello. Hello. How much does it cost to, to enter? It's a donation, not a cost. Oh. Uh, what you uh, as you want. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I forgot it was a donation to enter. So it's basically a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's also a reforestation program that began in 1985. So you donate to enter and that goes to regrowing these amazing amazing trees um and that started in 1985 but because these trees grow so slowly we haven't actually seen any of the rewards from that program thus far but that's all to come and here we are the cedars of god which is one of the last remaining vestiges of the extensive cedar forest the very rare lebanese cedar trees that used to cover the whole of mount lebanon in ancient times and yeah this is uh all that's left there's actually a few other small pockets around lebanon but this is the the best one the most intact one i mean it's called cedars of god it must be amazing So the cedar tree is obviously the symbol of Lebanon. It's the tree that's on their flag, it's on their money, it's on cars everywhere, it's on the number plates, it's on signs, statues, it's, yeah, just a massive part of their history. And the earliest documented reference to the cedars of God is where I am now, was actually written in the Epic of Gilgamesh in 2000 BC. The Lebanese cedar tree 
is also mentioned no less than 103 times in the Bible. Now I know what you're thinking, so what happened to the extensive forests of Lebanon? This is what happened. Over the years and all the empires and civilizations that came through Lebanon, packed down all of the trees to build ships, to build buildings, to ship them to their own countries because cedar wood is extremely, extremely strong, extremely, extremely, yeah, it's like the best wood you can get. This one's 33 meters tall. The tallest one I've seen so far, I think, and there are some massive, massive trees here. This tree's been split in half and it smells amazing inside here. Like really, really good. So that was the uh, Cedars of God, which I think is a hard thing to kind of translate to video form. Like you, you kind of have to be there. Um, I know it maybe wasn't that entertaining from a video point of view. Yeah, just the whole feel of the place, the whole history, obviously attached to Lebanon. I've been in Lebanon for a long time. I wouldn't feel right leaving without coming here so yeah i'm really really glad i did it um and now i've got to get back to biblos it took me four different uh, vehicles to get here and about four dollars thirty let's see if we can uh, better that just going for the old uh walk hitchhike keep walking every time you see a car give it a shot the first car I asked for a lift that went past me on that walk picked me up straight away. The people of Lebanon are so kind. Hello. Hello, here they are, my saviors. Come, come visit Lebanon. Lebanon. Yes, come visit Lebanon. It's amazing here. There was no room for me in the back, so I, we had three of us across the front. What's that? You want to drink coffee? Sure, I'll have a coffee. Okay. Thank you, that's very kind. Oh, is this your dog? No, this is for my uncle. Ah. For the goats. Oh, he's like a, a cheap dog. Yeah. Hello. That's my dog. Just, you just, you should pet him. Just okay, pet him. sounds good. It's a deal. Move. Hello. Just pet him. Okay. Okay, come. What's his name? Moon. Thank you, should I take my shoes off? No. It's okay, we can clean. That's my sister. Hello! Hi! Eddie from London. Hello, yes. nice to meet you. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, are you here as a tourist? Yes, I've been here for uh, two weeks. Wow. But I leave tomorrow, which is very sad. Oh, uh, to London? No, I'm actually going to Spain. My friend is getting married. I'm going to Mallorca. Okay. But I came... Uh, I came all the way here to see the... Oh, you have a cat as well? Yes. Yeah, we have a zoo here. I love a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> um, to see the, the cedar forest. Okay. And then I was walking back and uh, to mm. Tony very kindly gave, gave me a lift. All right, no. yeah. And did you like the forest? Did oh, you... it was amazing. It was amazing, yeah. Yeah. Someone helped you with all the, the touristic details and stuff? I just, I researched it before, so I had it like on my phone. Okay. Um, because I like to just kind of go alone yeah. places. There's a lot of the cool places here. Yeah, it's, I, I, Tony was just saying this whole like area, there's so much to see, but this is the first time I've been this way. It's, there's fish, there's onions, and there's fries. Oh, wow. It. It's something like traditional that mom always do, and we love it here. Awesome. So enjoy. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Arabic, it's samkehara. Samkehara. Yes. <laughs> samkehara, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Yay. 
Thank you so much for having me. You're, nice you're very kind. You. What was your name, by the way? Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anytime. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Right, so not only has Tony uh, helped me, gave me a lift uh, the first time, given me coffee, given me lunch. Uh, he's now giving me a lift to uh, Shade. Shade. Bashare. Yes. I really struggle with that one. Um, where apparently I'm gonna have to, yeah, try and hitchhike or maybe get a taxi to the main road to check up because there are no more buses, right? Yes. Which is unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll find a solution. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a very big pleasure. Thank you so much for all your help. You're welcome. And the food and the hospitality. We keep in, in uh, We'll keep in touch. touch. Okay. Much love, bro. Take I appreciate care. it a lot. Thank you, my Take friend. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Well, every time it, uh, the kindness of the Lebanese people just Yeah, blows me away. And like I said, there's no buses now. So I basically just need to walk down here till Cheka, which is the point I got off on the high road earlier. Start trying to do the old woohoo. Hopefully another kind Lebanese person will take pity on me. Maybe that guy. The someone I just ran into is like, come picks from the cherry tree and this guy's in the tree. Hmm. Mmm, very good. Mmm, delicious. Thank you. Shukran. That guy speaks no English, but he was cool with me taking his cherries. Well, I need to find a lift now. Again, the very first person I asked, uh, the very first time I stick out my thumb, pulled straight over. Sharbin is your name? Another Sharbin. Yeah, it's giving me a lift, uh, a good, good stretch of the way. So it's a good start. Good start. Give me faith. Boss, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and the way to to check her is keep going this way. Yes. Shukran. Thank you, brother. It's crazy, man. But both times, the first time I've out my hand, like the very first car has pulled straight over. I, I wish I'd filmed it, but. I don't want to like be hit there trying to hitchhike holding a camera like I feel like it'll make them less likely to pick me up but they seem so keen to pick me up maybe maybe I'll try it with the next one um yeah solid solid distance we'll take it so I'll keep going keep asking keep trying keep believing also the amount of people called Sharbal I've met today named after the the saint is yeah, a testament to how I guess devoutly Christian they are in these parts of Lebanon. Don't even see that. That dentistry is run by Dr. Sharp. Oh my god, there's a car. That's like six in a row. No, no pullover. I've I've jinxed myself by saying it was too too easy. This. I'm walking home, aren't I? All the way, ten hours. Oh no. After like 45 minutes of walking, Tony has come to the rescue. He's picked me up. He's going all the way to Kuspa, which is just huge, just massive right now. Everything I could have asked for and more. So yeah, thank you very much, Tony. Absolute You're legend. Welcome. You're a kind man, kind man. Save me. We've got another guy in it now. It's like a... That you're running a bus service, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Your uh, name? Shusmak. Shusmak. Hanna, Hanna Lahoun. Hanna, Hanna. Hanna. Nice to meet you. I'm Elak Sharafna. No idea. Me too. Me too. Oh, he said me too. Woo! Team Tony's bus. See, but there's a, the, a church in the mountain 
carved into the cliff, which is also a cave, which Tony says you can only get to through walking. It looks just in incredible. It looks like something out of Indiana Jones. Tony, my brother. Nice to meet you. My brother Tony, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you, my friend. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Masalama. Bye -bye. What an absolute legend. Just when I was giving, losing faith, Tony, potentially the biggest G I've met so far uh, today, though. That would be an insult to the other Tony. Everyone seems to be called over Tony Sharble, and one of Tony's kids was also called Eddie. Very, like, lots of Christian names going on. Um, and yeah, I'm in I'm in uh, Kuspa now. So it's only, I don't know, I say only like a two hour walk, probably like a 20 minute drive to the highway. He says I should get a taxi, but I feel like I've come this far. I'm not getting a taxi. I'm gonna hitchhike to the main road. Once I get to the highway, I will accept spending $1 on a, on a micro bus back to Byblos, but until then I'm gonna keep hitchhiking. I only need one more ride. I'm getting a lot of rejections now. I'm back on a busy road. I think people are just busier, they're maybe less trusting, less yeah, less free time. But at the same time, I'm kind of enjoying the rejections, you know. In a weird way. Come on. See, like they had a spare seat in their car. Just let me go in it. I know you're going to check it. Is he pulling over up there? I think he is. I think he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is he? Isn't he? <laughs> Yo. Where are you going? I, I'm going to uh I can't open the door. Yes. I'm trying to get to uh I live in Biblos, but I just need to go to like Cheka. You're heading this way? Where are, where are you guys going? We are going uh, maybe not that far, but we can... Okay, any, any, any distance is good. Where are you from? Thank you so much. I'm from uh, London. Nice. You are here uh, for tourism? Yes, I've been here for uh, two weeks. Uh, no, I have. Uh, so I was in the Middle East for five months last year, and I met two Lebanese people. Nice. So I came. I came here to see them, but they had work today. Oh. So I hitchhiked all the way from Biblos to the Cedars of God, oh. and then I've been. <laughs> and now I'm hitchhiking home again. But maybe when I get to the highway, I will just get a micro bus. What's your name? Eddie. Yes. yes, I make uh, like uh, YouTube what? videos about Lebanon. YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> 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 yeah, you'll be you'll be famous. Uh, famous. You're famous, famous. on TikTok. Your... Only one, uh, one hundred. One hundred thousand. Only. only. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> one hundred followers. Yeah, only one hundred. Okay, okay. Can just you... for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> So this is like a Lebanese music. There we go, just like that. I'm at the highway in no time. Thanks to the legendary hospitality. Legendary hospitality of the Lebanese people. Right, we're going to take a photo. Thank you for everything. Boys, thank you. It's a pleasure. 
don't uh, talk uh, too much to people. Don't they trust. Might, uh, uh, don't, don't trust, trust uh, every people, people. Every people. Okay. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust. <laughs> don't trust everyone. They are very bad people. He is swearing in Arabic, but uh, we are uh, good. Sons yes. of bitches. Everyone I've met in Lebanon is, has been very nice. Yes, yes, but uh, be careful. Just don't trust. Everyone. Always. Yeah. I try. I follow my instincts. Yes, yes. You are good. <laughs> you are good people. Thank <laughs> you. Bye. Thank you. Kidding. He told me he wants to kidnap you. Kidnap me and take me to Syria. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Masalama, thank you. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of fucking legends. I wouldn't want to be home before dark, you know. I'm on the highway. It's only like it's only like half an hour. Half an hour to uh Biblos, maybe even quicker. I just gotta get a micro bus for one dollar. Uh -huh. The hard part is over, and now yeah, we're on the home street. What an adventure today's been! Ooh. Shukran. Oh. I need to go to uh, Biblos. Thank you. Just keep the change. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right. That's the wrong way. All right. Well, there you have it. Five dollars thirty. That's what it cost me to go all the way from Biblos to the Cedars of God and back again. And I think the whole day, I mean, I only spent money on lunch, which was $7. So that's $12, 30 I gave a donation, about $13 for the whole day. And Tony's sister, who I've forgotten her name, apologies if you're watching this. Uh, that's Tony the first, by the way, the first guy who bit me up, not the, not the Tony, uh, not bus driver Tony. She gave me one of those amazing fish sandwiches, not only to eat in their house, but also to take with me home now. So that's dinner sorted. Yeah, what an amazing day and just uh, such a good example of the kindness and generosity and hospitality of the Lebanese people. Um, the forest was, was cool, but this was definitely one of those days where it's more about the journey rather than the destination, especially the way back was just, yeah, just such a, such a wholesome, wholesome experience. And it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy to me that people are scared to come to Lebanon people think it's dangerous the government the media advise against coming here it's all complete utter nonsense just like it is for mo most of the Middle East the people here are amazing and uh, they deserve a lot more because Lebanon has an incredible incredible amount to offer as you've seen over the course of this series and yeah that, that ends the series ends my time in Lebanon I'm I'm sad to be leaving it's it's been a really good experience. I'm going to miss Biblos, my hometown. This is probably the most aesthetically pleasing part of it. Um, and now, I honestly don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you'll see me next week or me and Tilly. So you have to wait and see. Uh, thanks for watching. Lebanon, thanks for having me. I hope the future's bright for this country because they deserve it and like I said there's just so much to do here so much to offer yeah thanks for watching as always everyone see you when I see you much love